Hi everybody, welcome to Milgat Farms. It's a beautiful day here on the farm. Today we're gonna to be working on a dump trailer. I've already pulled the hose off, and now we're gonna put the hose back on. I went down to Joe's, he made a hose, lickety split. Now it's time to get it put back on. And let's see if we can find a leak. There's another challenge going on with that dump trailer is it's possibly a leak at the base of the jug for the hydraulic fluid. So we're gonna check that out as well. So come along, let's get it done. Today I was working with some wood in the back of the dump trailer and what I like to do, stupid dog, it's me, come on. So earlier today I was working with a dump trailer, I load it up with wood, then I take it next to the pile that I'm gonna load it, where I'm gonna load, and then I lift up the back. So it's sending all the wood down to me. So I'm not having to move a whole lot. You know, that kind of makes sense to me. But I noticed that on the, uh, the ram, at the bottom of the ram, I had a leak. So after further investigation, I found out that my hose is leaking. Let me show you that. That's, there it is. No? Right there. Now, I don't know if you guys can, you, you, you can see it's a hose, but what you can't see, it's just a weeping hole right here. So it was leaking down over top of this. It was sitting just like this. So it leaked out here, it leaked on the ground, and we needed a new hose. So I went over to Joe's, and Joe, he stopped what he was doing, and he hooked me up. I got a brand new hose, and now we're gonna hook it up. We leaked, we leaked a little bit out. That's not a big deal. Here's what's kind of got me concerned, guys. I think there's a leak right in there. I really do. And that's just not good. I really think there's a leak in there, guys. I don't know where quite it, that it is. This didn't take long to get out. It shouldn't take long to put back in. Okay. Get up. I can see down in here I got a little bit of hydraulic fluid. And it looks like it's coming out right underneath of this thing. I'm going to need this tomorrow. And that's why I'm, I'm installing it today. We gotta get this on over here. One of the things I tell you guys is when you're doing something like this, be sure to put a safety bar up. I did put a, my my trailer won't go all the way up because I don't have enough hydraulic fluid in it. So my trailer, my, my bed won't go all the way up because I don't have enough hydraulic fluid in it. Plus I'm on an angle, so it's, it's all kind of cattywampus. So I did raise it up and I put a board in here too to make sure that I'm not going to get crushed. Because there's no reason for to get hurt for something as simple as this. Here we go. <clears throat> I have to go find some. That's what I need to do right there. So that can go just like that. But for right now, that's going to be it. Can you believe it? It can't be that easy. I got a little bucket under here catching anything that's dripping. So I'm gonna leave it on there and I'm gonna give it a test. I actually gotta put the battery in first. <clears throat> okay. Okay, let's get that battery in. 
possibly got to go on the right. Come on, that's heavy. Come on. All right, made it in. One thing I like to do, guys, is connect my positive first. Uh, I don't like to connect the negative until I get the positive completely installed. connected at all. What I want to do is I want to make sure that if I have to hit this thing like I did last time, it doesn't start to spark or arc. Arc, spark, you know what I'm saying. Okay, that's in where it needs to be. So I'm going to raise it up, and then we're going to get this board out and put it back down. Or not. Whoa, there it goes. Okay, okay, that's heavy. Okay. I'm leaking out of there. Stuff is heavy. Now that don't make any sense. That went in pretty simple. Where are you guys running to? Alright guys, let's see if this thing works and how well or how high it'll go up. Well, that's a lot higher. You know, guys, while I got it up, I'm going to pop the bottom of this thing. You know what? It's probably not going to happen. Let's we'll see if we can do this. <clears throat> no. I dropped something. All right. I need to get all this stuff out of here so when I drop my topsoil, I don't have this mixed in with it. The easiest way to do that is this. There we go. Watch out, girlfriend. out of there. Blah, 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 blah. That's a lot of stuff. All right. This looks like it's going to work really well. I still think we got a leak though. I don't see anything in there yet. I don't see it. We'll see. Let's let her back down. Wow, that's taking forever. guys it looks like this is going to work pretty well i didn't see a leak inside that's a good thing um, for now we're gonna have to give it a, eh, a few test runs if you will 
So today I'm gonna go pick up some topsoil and we're gonna have to at least raise it lower it a couple times. It will definitely be under pressure. Although I don't think the pressure is what caused the leak. I think it's really something in the seal. I don't really know. But we'll find out though, won't we? All right guys, I had to get out of the wind. We got a lot of wind here right now. Thanks a lot for watching our videos. We hope that you enjoy them. Hope that you're learning. We love your comments. Plague of Badgers, your comments are funny. I decided I am going to put a free chocolate milk sign down at the front so Lud will help me with the greenhouse. We'll see how that goes, right? So the guys, thanks a lot for watching our videos. Do consider giving us a thumbs up. And until next time, God bless you.